Hey there, Dan Gastu here. Today's video is about building and testing Detroit diesel injectors and is proudly sponsored by MarineEngine.com. had some pretty bad weather here at the moment, hence uh, this video being a bit late. So we're going to start this video taking Renko to a safe spot to get out of the floodwaters. Then I pick up Dave and Eddie and we take one of his old Land Rover gearboxes up to Adrian's workshop so he can work on that while Adrian and I do the injectors. The injectors in a Detroit diesel are unit injectors. And this means that the injector, each injector, is its own high pressure pump as well. You don't have an injector pump that then feeds an injector. So getting them built correctly and working properly is critical to these engines running well. Feeling quite under the weather today, but uh, taking Renko up to a bay, get it out of uh, all these flood waters. A bit of water running down the deck. Tinny's still there. You can do it. Bird surfing his way down the river. That's pretty funny. We're off to the workshop, Eddie. Don't stick your head in it. Yeah, turn around with your glasses on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Looks better. Oh, heaps better. Take the white brush if you want, just give it a bit more of a scratch like, okay. and, and poke around at it and then... What are we doing today, Uncle Adrian? Oh, we're going to have a squirt at some injectors. Nice. Oh, that was a bit of a pun, wasn't it? Oh, love your work. Um, so we've got some... This is the gritty one. That's actually quite... You can't see it, but it's actually quite gritty when you feel it. Mm -hmm. That's the one you've got something that really needs to be cut back. And yeah, this is a nice aggressive. fine one, really fine. And which one were you using just then? Just then, I was just using the fine one. Yeah, okay, cool. So... Which we did this one with a cleanest tip. So it was really yucky. It needs to be washed again, but cleaned up really good. So mm -hmm. this cage, this is the cage, the, the spring sits in here for the tip pressure. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is nearly knackered. See, there's a recess in it? Yep. We'll test it and see how, it, how the pressure opens and that. If it's opening a bit crappy, that'll be because the needle's coming back too far, bouncing back. And that's what that is there. That's what the needle does. It bounces back and hits the, the cage. Mm -hmm. So we do figure eights. Do nice slow ones. We might be too fast. Don't go left and right because end up the fuel will track across the face. Yep. Um, you might never see it, but it, it will, and it won't hold pressure in the injector properly. But it's always a figure of eight, so that it's definitely always crossing. Look that one there, Luke. And so that was the paste and a little bit of um... a little bit of just a little bit of inox to make it nice and slippery. Yeah, yeah. That step in it looks worse. Yeah, right. It actually looks better. In the very before. centre. Yeah. So that should worse be... in the sense that it's it's actually deeper than what it looked before. Oh, okay. So that's normally when that's new, it's flush. The flush. whole the oh, whole wow. face is flush. So yeah. Wow, so okay. that's from the needle sits in the tip. I won't push it in there because it's mm -hmm. full of lapping paste. But it bounces back and hits the paste there. Mm -hmm. When it, and that's so this wears. So everything changes. The timing of the injector opening mm -hmm. and and firing changes. So if that's Top of that's worn and that's worn. So the spring and they call the seat. Mm -hmm. It goes down the hole. And that pushes against the tip. Oh, okay. So the seat pushes against the tip. Yeah. So then whatever it takes to push the fuel, this this should be 3,000 PSI to open that spring pressure. Yep. So the, spring, the fuel will come down and get under the, under the bottom of the tip and push it up. Set this on zero. I'm just going to move it over. There you go. Just felt it drop into the little notch. Yep. So how deep that notch there, Stu? Ooh, two thousand. Two thousand. So there you go. It's a, you know they. Yeah. Not a lot, but that two thousand. Yeah. You mentioned how deep they can get. Yeah. And how interesting to see what a small difference, what a small distance makes 
as with, far as a change of pressure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Here's an example of three spring cages of various ages. The one on the left's pretty much brand new, the one on the right's pretty worn out. The one on the middle's obviously had some service, but it's probably still quite usable. So this is the plunger and bush. Yep. This is this is an N70 plunger and bush. So you can't mix the plunger and bush up either. This, they're machined to go together. This is starting to frost. You can see the, can see the polished yeah. area and it gets a bit quite frosty. And it has been like it's running dry, like crappy fuel at the bottom here. It's like okay. scored, scored and, it, yeah. But they won't fit. If they're not a match pair. No, they won't. Yeah. Okay. Like this, and it's only microns. Yeah. So it's either going to be really loose or not fit. Yeah, and this is... Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so... This so, if, is, so you can't buy this part individually. You, every no. time you order, it just comes as a pair. Comes as a pair. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, this is the metering sack. Up here, that area there is full fuel. So, that point there mm -hmm. is full throttle. It winds back to here. It's idle. This is the idle circuit here, the, the very bottom. What they call the idle ring. winds up and then it fills up the sack and that's so on the rack you've got the the uh yep. so as you push it it rotates yeah. as it yeah so, this little gear yep. fits on the shaft and that little gear hangs out the side of your injector yep so that's full throttle in there and that's stop sort of rack and pinion type setup yeah, set yeah. yep uh, and they are timed Yes, right. So there's a dot. Yep. Hang on, can I see that dot again? Oh, sorry, yes, sorry, I was too fast for the... Uh... Too fast for the cameraman. Yep. So there's there a go. dot there. Yeah, uh, yeah. And on the rack gear, can you see those two dots right next to my thumb there? Yep. So that's... Yeah, right. Timed. Ah, gotcha. Right, it's in between. Yep. Very good. So, I've got one here that's assembled. Just... When you get to check that it actually have timed correctly, if you look in the window, oh yeah, yeah, you see the window there. That's yeah. full throttle. That's back to idle. But you, this should look to see the flat spot come round. Okay, yeah. Inside that hole. Little, yeah, keep going. Go again. Yep. So I can read the window. Oh, yeah, yep. Comes round to full throttle. Yep. That way you know you've got the timing of the injector right. So you put it right. You'll have one in you to go, pop, 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 yeah. and you'll hear it. It's terrible. It's wrong. It's just out of time. Um, yeah, it's out of time. Um, I've all done it once or twice, maybe three times. I haven't because I've never done one. Well, you're about to. <laughs> there you go. Fair enough. So, yeah. So, that's, um, this one's got a new tip in it. Yep. It's set on the shelf for a little bit, but this is what we're building for Stu's little Renko. 471. 471. We're going to put some nice new squirters in. We're going to end up with a result, something looking like this. Very good. Oh, yeah, the, check the springs, free length, and the length of the follower, because they do grind them at times. Oh, okay. <coughs> um, these all look to be really good followers that haven't been ground. Some of them have had marks on them because they've been in something else, but well, actually, these haven't. I've cleaned them up with some emery cloths, but mm -hmm. and we'll give them a bit more. But they um, do grind them to take the pitting out. But that then changes your injector timing. Mm. So what you ideally want to do is measure your followers with the verniers. So you put when you build a set, you want six within a thou or so of each other. Of each other. Right, okay. So consistency is more important well, than the absolute yes. measurement. Okay. Well the absolute measurement there is a minimum. Okay. And but the to get them nice, a nice match set, that's where you start with the follower. Yeah, okay. So we've got a couple of different plungers and bushes here mixed up amongst these N forty fives. So this is a N45 plunger and bush. Yep, 45, yep. yep. And this is a 5N45. Okay. So it says 5N. Just yep. Here. Oh, yeah. So one will be a pollution type and one will be an older school type injector. And when you say pollution type, is in a cleaner burning cleaner one now? Cleaner burning injector, yeah. So... As you can see, I'll line the ramps up. 
the holes are different. And they're in different positions. And the yeah, shape, right. see the shape of the ramp is very different. Yeah. So different timing, different fuel. And what we might find one also maybe more automotive and one's industrial. So gotcha. 5N will probably be more industrial as well. Yeah, right, okay. But Interesting yeah. to see all the different types. And so the same housing, like all this casing. Is it all the same? All the same. 92, 71, right. 53. Yeah, even 53, right. So oh, yeah. it just depends what guts you put in them. What guts you put in that hole. To make oh, it, yeah. yeah. Make it work. Very good. And don't trust the sticker because I don't sell you new stickers. No. Well, you can buy the tags. But oh, you can, okay. So what, but, but they're getting whatever. So this should be tag N45, but yep. you could actually pop this out. Turn it over and engrave the back and put in 45. No, okay. Back in, they will pop out. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, so you can... And you just put those in with a golf ball, do you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, I actually use a fuel post to reshape them so you can put them back in. The other way, nice. Yes. Very good. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do an example a little, a little bit. Very good. Oh, it's a new file. Bit of new old stock. Yeah, just stuff I've collected over the years. So there's a, there's a new follower. Yeah, right, well, yeah. Um... What are these? Well, they're plungers and bushes, but they're... oh, they're like wax sealed or something. Yeah. <gasps> wow! So I was just about to open one up and see what they were. So these are really early plungers. These are HV sixes, so like two valve type material. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to um, just pop the dolly. So I won't use this one. So this is a very early two valve plunger follower. So that went down the bottom like that. You then put that in the top, that held your plunger and bush in. Whereas now, because we're modern people. Not us personally. No, oh, definitely not me. They just slip in the side. Oh, okay. Hooks in, yep. yeah. it just slips in the side. That's interesting. Yep. Rather than being slight, yeah. slid down from the top. Right, so the... So the early two valve injectors, HV7, HV6s, yeah, S model top. injectors. And this is the follower, did you say? Yes, yeah. the follower. So that's, okay. that's the early version of that. Yep. Early version, late version. version there. Nice. Interesting. Interesting to see the evolution of it as it's time's gone by. Yeah, so these are things that we're like machine cleaning up now. Mm -hmm. This is the early style injectors. Versions of it, yeah. Yeah, like so much smaller, tiny, only... 700 PSI. Yes, right. Compared so to, yeah, Compared to 3,000. So it doesn't have the same atomization no, and burning. Quite, quite dribbly. Yep. Um, they, look, they work fine. If you keep them revving all day, they're okay. Keep it hot. They're keep idle. It, yeah, yeah. If they, I, you've got the machine idling all day. It's terrible. Right. But yeah. you can see the, the shape of the tip just is so different. Yeah. Uh, wow, it's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Big size difference. And these actually don't have the needle down there. It re just relies on... There being a check valve on the top here, mm -hmm. and the fuel pressure pushing down, the fuel going around it, just and it goes. Opening it. <clears throat> yeah. And they still would have gone in 71 series, or? Yeah, yeah. 71, yep. And in and early 53. Mm hmm. Um, that's another one of them. I'm just trying to find Because they look so much smaller. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, but the body is all, the nut is a little bit different, uh -huh. and the body is different. Okay. It's got the fuel lines are different. Right. But. Still yeah. fits in the same cylinder still head, though. Still in the same cylinder head, and some of us are now... A lot of people, the guys that do injectors, have modified them, so they make them HVNs. Okay. So they take all the old guts out, yeah. and they put new guts in the old body. Yep. You've got to machine the body. Right, okay. Cut the key way a bit. But so it becomes a hybrid. Yeah, so maybe later on we'll do a video for that. Okay, um, interesting. You cut the keyway and then it all fits back together and you end up with 3,000 PSI in the two-valve head, nice clean running. Huh, very cool. In that. So, nice. That's yeah, a late model spring, like for your N50s or your 9G90s or whatever, and that's for your H36, H37 type. Yep. So you can see how dismal the spring is. like How low the fuel pressure would be by the time yeah, the like check valve opens. Yeah. Like it's quite yeah. – not very hard at all. I can – yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Is that difference? One? Yeah. But there's a more little parts of the check valve system. Oh, okay, yep. In the early injector, yeah. This is an S90. Is that really early? It's a nice new injector, but... Yeah, right. So it was assembled in the third month. Yep. 24th day. 59? 59. Wow. There you go. 
That was when that body first went into service. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. yeah. This is timing the rack and the gear. Mm -hmm. So this is the dots we were talking about earlier. Yep. Stip him in there. I'll just... Mm. Well, hang on, I'll find there it is there. So, oh. Yeah, need to Oh, there we go. Yep. See the dots? Yep. So then we'll find the dot on the gear. Yep. And I'm going to do this. I'm not even looking really down the top, so... Oh, look at that. Nothing but net. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. There you go. She's all lined up. Yep. In time. <coughs> Just before I die, I'm going to put this filter screen. Yep. In the hole. Does it have an up and a down a slot at the top? I always put the slot to the top. Yep. Um, and that's the way I was always told to put it. Yeah, okay, yep. Um, I never questioned it, so I probably should question it, but when you do put it in... And you do the cap up, it actually does crush onto the filter. Oh, okay, yep. So it actually squashes it down. Actually, it has a fair bit. You see, it's got a. Yeah, it stopped there. So it's got good quite a bit of crush, yeah, yeah. Quite a bit of crush on it. And the other one is just a copper washer, <laughs> which is the return side of the injector. Right, so supply is closer to the barrel. Yeah, like the supply is right over the rack hole. Yep, gotcha. This is probably the best way to yep. describe that. Into the isolator. Oh, someone's been smoking something in there. Lucky you're not smoking. <coughs> oh, it's right up your throat, doesn't it? It's not good. No. So you can actually feel, if you feel that, you can actually feel that. As it crushes it, yeah. Yeah, you can sort of feel it pushing it. Yeah, right. And then usually just give them a good... Oh, crush the copper washer a little bit as well. Yep. That's enough. It's got to be stupid tight, but it's got to be pretty tight. Yep. And then we can now put our rack gear back in. Oh, yes. So we'll see if we can do this again first go. Move the dots. Oops. Throwing the gear away. I got it. So dots on both sides or only one no, side? Only on no, one only side. on one side, yeah. There's a dot. I won't look again. No, we cocked it up. Yeah, right. It's next to the... Yeah. Hard to show, but yeah, you can see the dots just yeah. not between the other yeah. two, yeah. Bingo. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Third? Not, really. not really. It's, we got the other shot of it. Yep. So. Spacer? Ah, uh, yep. This little spacer, he doesn't do anything, he just stops the gear from falling out of mesh. Okay, yep. Into there. Then we get our plunger. Mm -hmm. We've got our plunger and bush. So he will go in there like that. Mm hmm. We'll put our. Put that in there for now. <clears throat> and then the over it, what do I do with it? Ah, so uh, yep, this is your new O ring, yeah. New O ring in the kit. Probably should put that on first. Goes on the bottom there. Sits there. Mm -hmm. Then we have a spill deflector. So, this, when the wind is moving up and down, the little bit of excess fuel that comes out for return hits against the side of this. Mm -hmm. It just sits there like that. It does nothing more than sit there like that. Cool. This is the test tool. Normally the fuel comes in here, but Adrian's just brazed the end on here. And this part is solid, so there's no fuel metering either. You're just getting fuel all the way through to see at what pressure the tip cracks. So Adrian, um... Don't need to spill the flick to the test. Yes, no. okay, and so just check valve. Yep. Check valve cage, yep. spring cage. Yep. 
Uh, don't tell me. Spring seat. Yep. Tip and nozzle. Yep. That's it. Well, tip. Yeah, tip is with a whole, whole thing. Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. You got it. You're on it. Oh, Dave, that's an excellent gearbox. Is that normal? Are there leaves normally? It's a gum oh, leaf. African barking beetle. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tip we're going to put into this injector. Mm -hmm. So I'll, we're testing it just to make sure it's firing. Oh, right, so this is the tip that's here. Go yeah. for that one. Twenty-four. So What's the spec? Twenty-eight. Right. Twenty-five to twenty-eight. Yep. Twenty-four. So that could be because the little buttons. Mm -hmm. warm. So what I'll do is I'll just I can take you there. I'll see you. <laughs> we'll put a new button in it. Let's see what difference it makes. We want to change him because he had a little bit of, a bit yeah, of right. him. Yep, not a huge one, but sometimes mm, it's all it takes. Yep. There's different tips. Oh, high, yes, high load, and this is it's a standard one, so it's sort of fatter. And the high load one, you can see it's a bit thinner around the edge, okay, and it is hardened a lot harder, right? Okay, and you're saying if you put a High load one in the standard, it'll kill the injector pretty fast. Well, it'll kill the this seat, right? It'll kill the seat if you put this high load spring against this seat, it just kills the seat. Oh, high load spring, right? Yep. Yeah, because it's not hardened. Yeah, yeah. so let's see what happens now. Yeah, interesting. See what difference that one part makes to the popping pressure. Yeah. Interesting. Huge difference. Yep. That's pretty cool. So it's that's why when you just that, a lot of money to do an injector up. Like yeah. Every little bit and tickle. Well, by the time you've lapped it, found the bit that's sort of good, bits that are bad, yeah. tested it. And that's pretty good. It's leaking like always leak back a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, the rate it goes back, back tells yeah. you, yeah. And it's nice. Yeah. And there should be nice fumes come out. So then you can install this from your test injector into a real injector. Yep. And then we'll stick him in the other stand over there and make him go. <laughs> Bush. Check valve. Check valve. Cage. Sorry, can I just have a... Is that all right? So that's... Was Check it, valve. Uh, okay, right, right. It stops the fuel going, trying to get back up the... Yeah. <coughs> blow back up the... Um, thing and then we got our seat. A spring, sorry. And spring seat. Then cage, spring cage. Right. Inject the tip. Yep. And then you just blow it over the top. Yeah. You jiggle. And that aligns all those little bits that yep. are slightly... Nice and firm. Right now for the next bit, which is to put plunger onto the spring, the fire. Oh, okay, yep. The, the spring. It's very hard to see, but the spring is wound tighter at one end. It's uh, okay. very min Yeah. Is it marked, or you just got to see it by eye? Yeah, see it by eye. Wow, well, okay. And sometimes you'll pick it up because there's a wear marks on there. Yeah, right. So that... Yeah, so there's the sides. So that's the bottom. Okay, yep. Here goes down. Uh, tighter windings down, did you say? Yes, uh, tighter yep. winding down. Mm -hmm. And then... So... If you put... It didn't full throttle and sort of aim 
Oh, okay. The flat spot where the hole is. Yep. And then you can flick a wiggle wiggle and okay. it's dropped in. Yeah. So then you have to retain the top. So there's a little Oh yeah. So there. The tricky bit in my mind is getting the plunger in. But once it's in, so that's the wrong hole. So I'm just showing that's the wrong one. That's the one the plunger hooks into. Right, that's the back hole. Yeah, back so hole. And you don't want the back hole, you want the front hole, that that's one. That's right. <laughs> and then we rotate the spring. Have you, got the, have you got the... You yeah, got it's the, over here. Yep. Uh, that's the wrong oh, one. Oh, oh. Oh, you're the injector expert now. <laughs> Complete expert. As we push it down, this hole will come down. It'll clip in, we let it go. This is what the little retainer looks like. Once it's in, we can just rotate the spring a little bit too, and that's all retained. And this is now ready to go into the other tester to test it as a full unit injector, rather than just pressure testing the tip. So, if it's in here. The little arm goes over, mm -hmm. down onto the top, so you just line them both up to make sure they're... Fuel lines. Yeah, I'm going to put some go-go juice in the... So now, then, if you with this little pump here, oh yeah, pump him up. That, that's full throttle, so sort of fill up the injector with diesel. Ah, oh, so the return lines yeah. open at the moment. Yeah, so so we're testing to see if the body leaks. You're allowed some leak back. Yep, but we've got 500 psi. There's never 500 psi. Oh wow, okay. In the injector. Yep. So it's not dribbling out around the tip. Yep. It's not dribbling out around the body. You'll lose a little bit. It'll come up beside the followers most of the time where you'll lose that bit of pressure. Yeah, okay. That's Because it is, it's just an interference fit. There's no seal. Yep. Just really finely machined. Yep. What are you doing, Jennifer? Building a head. Building a cylinder head. You're the only one doing any real technical work today. I know. Adrian's on the phone. Pedley's doing his washing. Hey. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jennifer's the only one being a real mechanic today. So what years you give Ox pedals? 1951. 1951. In England, because they're always going backwards, right? <laughs> they're just backwards people. They have this here. It's just left-hand spiral, which keeps the oil in the gearbox. So when the shaft is turning right-hand rotation, it's actually turning left, pushes the oil in. So as the oil comes up to it, it just keeps trying to push it back in the gearbox rather than let it come out. So for most pommies who go backwards all the time, they'll pump the oil out of their gearbox <laughs> going backwards. Yeah. Isn't that normal? <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, probably run out of fuel. Just put a little fuel in there. Yep. yep. Wasn't very convincing, was it? A bit, bit spitty, wasn't it? Yeah, why that spitty, spitty? Was, was it like... spitting elsewhere or? No, no, just at the tip. Yeah, right. So, what are the causes of that? Um, Incompetence? Sometimes it can be the plunger and bush. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit worn and it's just not happy. It did actually feel relatively easy to put the plunger into the bush. Yep. So, what we might do, we'll cheat. I'll take the plunger out and have a look. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay, without taking the hole. Yeah. Yeah, to pop that out, just poke the screwdriver under edge of the spring, so you sort of lift the edge of the spring up, so you can wiggle him in. Out. Pops him out. Yeah. Seems to be... Scored or anything, is no, it? There's no great nasty... There's a few little fine lines. It doesn't matter what... It goes up and down a bazillion times, it's going yeah. to do that. But yeah, totally. Nothing agriculturally horrible there. So what we can do, we can actually do this. Put that back in full fuel. Yep. I'm seeing a student at first time last time. I've got a oh, no. okay. Like it was really good pressure, like it was really nice. It was, I know. Oh, if it doesn't work, I know what it was. Pedley was using the handle when That's we tested right. it. What was that? We're just trying to find someone to blame for my yeah, injector okay. not working. Okay. Well, not working properly. Oh, wow, it's too high. 
Go there. That's I, reckon that, I reckon that tip's got a bit of blockage. Yep. And it's too much for it to in that when it's an assembly. I actually gave it when I put the uh, needle or whatever it is in the tip. Yep. It took. It was didn't seem to go in, so I gave it a really good wash. Yep. And then try it again. Yep. But I did lap the tip, so I was like, oh, make sure yeah, it's no, not. No, it should be all right, but it might be that the tip inside is actually got in a little hole. There might be not. It might be partially blocked. Not yeah. is that it's pretty like it is a good high pressure, but it's like But that was going off the scale. Yeah, and then it sort of went and did something funny. Yeah. And didn't do that before, but it did yeah. this time. So, Even the ones that were too low, they were consistent. Yes. Yeah. This one's been a little bit so it's yeah. like, okay, let's Yeah. So we'll stick it. And it goes to show, doesn't it? You pass that test, you do this, you go to that and you go, no. Nah, no, nah, still not, not good enough to go in and measure that. Yeah. yeah. You can see why. Injectors are expensive. Yeah. A lot of work goes into each one, doesn't it? it does, yeah, like it's... Oh, you can lay down. Don't oh, so don't complain. Is there a... Is there a... Is there a is there, yeah, no, it's not... It's all right. Yeah, I've got yeah. a bit of yeah, 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 I'm not going to forget that ever. No, no, it's OK. I, but actually, I didn't see it, so I was actually... I did a couple of these last week, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I, I think I forgot the spill deflector. <laughs> but they were in there. They were OK. Yeah, it was all right. We checked it. We did check. We, yeah, exactly. But there was because there was was one odd one sitting out to one side, yeah. but it was like yeah. no, it's fine. So I reckon put a new tip in this one. Mm -hmm. we'll give them a bit of a relap. Yep. So yeah, see that tip's gone tight in there. It's tight, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I think. Yeah, it didn't. And you were saying if you have like waxy fuel, that can happen, but yeah. So like if I'd have had a tiny bit of waxy fuel in there, and it was all right the first couple of times. Yep. And now it's come dislodged in there, and you can't yeah, okay. see. You cannot see inside the tip. No, no. Yeah, it's not, not, it's not, not stuck, stuck. But yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you'd actually had it like a, and got it off to the side there or something like that, and it pinched it, you'd, you'd feel it just with no pressure in there. So it's yeah. trying to do something, but it's like I don't want to do something. Not 100 percent. Yeah. Mm. This is one of the new nozzles we're going to put in this injector. Uh, they sort of work for a range, so this nozzle will work for a N45, M50, whatever. But apparently there are different size holes in them, different angles, all that kind of stuff. So you need to make sure you've got the right one. But Adrian tells me this is the one we need. Yeah, that's the one you that's need. That's the one we need, yep. yep. There is heaps, there's so many Lots different, different ones. different types, yep. So I'll, we'll open one up. Yeah. While we're... They do look very schmick when they're all these shiny I'll just use this knife. <laughs> So, writing, my wobbly hand. Yeah, so the, it says over there's a six over here, and then there's 62, it's, it's 0062. So. The handle on this tester, this whole mechanism, actually came from an ejector seat on a jet plane, apparently. Quite consistent now, which is great. Hang on. 2850 now every time. Yeah. Okay, gonna call that a great improvement and go back to the other tester. All right, back in the second tester, in, primed, full fuel, return valve closed. All right, my first injector has passed test. Caps on, ship it. Actually, what we'll do before we wrap up is uh, just have a look at how they go in the cylinder head and how they get fired and how they're timed, etc. This is the uh, worst tip we've had so far. We... Yes. <laughs> it's just spraying <laughs> now, it's not even... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing, it's just like... So, yeah, it pops it. Well, it doesn't, it just sprays. <laughs> the tip is actually stuck. The needle's yeah. now seized over Yeah, there. right. Yeah. Okay. Disassemble. All right, here's one of the finished injectors, and this is what they look like in the head. Still need the fuel lines put on, but the cap's stopping dust getting. And then here's the follower we're pressing on with that second tester, which in the engine gets pushed on by this follower, this push rod from the camshaft. So that's how the injector firing gets timed. Well, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed learning how to build these injectors. So huge thanks to Adrian as always. And, you know, I think it's a really good skill to have if you own a Detroit diesel. Uh, they are very important to having the engine running properly. You can build yourself a spare injector to keep in the boat or the truck or whatever you have. And if ever one fails, it's a very easy swap just to undo the lines, put the new one in and get going again. There's a fuel pump that feeds lower pressure to the injectors. 
and the return. So essentially it's a common rail system, so it's quite self-bleeding, so very easy to sort of just swap it and keep going. So they're great like that. The injectors in Renko are actually the only part that Adrian didn't build just about these days. Uh, so we're gonna swap some new ones in. We're going to slightly smaller injectors from 60s to 50s because I don't run under a lot of load. I've also had a little bit of trouble starting Renko recently. It takes a couple of goes of cranking it to get it to fire, where previously you just sort of look at the button and fire up. And this is because one of them is leaking down and I'm losing fuel pressure. I've got to crank it a bit, get the fuel pressure back up, then it runs normally after that. So by putting some new injectors in, we're going to solve two problems. All right, well, take care and I will see you next video. Bye. you see in there, Daffy? New things to eat. <laughs> Why don't you just climb in? Surely it's easier. your best day ever, Daffy. Oh my goodness, look at all those worms. All right, let's give some to Daisy before you have them all.